let us take one more example related to correlation find the number of pairs of observations from the following data the correlation coefficient that is r is 0 0.15 summation x minus x bar times y minus y bar is 12 standard deviation of y is 4 and summation of x minus x bar square is equal to 40 so the value for r is given as 0 0.15 correct then standard sorry summation of x minus x bar times y minus y bar is given as 12 standard deviation of y is equal to 4 and summation of x minus x bar square is equal to 40 we need to obtain the value of n that is the number of pairs of observations so the formula that would be applied here is r is equal to summation x minus x bar times y minus y bar upon n into standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y now the value for r is 0 0.15 so we have 0 0.15 is equal to the summation value is 12 n is unknown standard deviation of x is also unknown and standard deviation of y is 4 so we cancel out this 1's and this becomes 3's now these two terms we take it on the left hand side so n times sigma x is 3 divided by 0 0.15 now here we apply the formula for standard deviation of x which is under root summation x minus x bar square divided by n is equal to now if you remove the decimal places we have 3 into 100 divided by 15 now we have this total value which is 40 so we substitute it over here so we have n times under root 40 by n is equal to now 3 ones are 3 fives are 5 ones are 5 twenties are so on the right hand side we have the value 20 so finally to remove the square root we square both the sides so the next step is squaring both the sides and we obtain n square into 40 by n the root will go away is equal to 20 square 20 square is 400 now one of the n gets cancelled so we have n is equal to 400 divided by 40 so the value for n is equal to 10 so the number of pairs of observations is equal to 10 download the app maths guide from google play today like it share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos thank you